Oh, um, hi there. So you want to ruin the Skyblock economy, right? I didn't ask. I know you didn't ask, but I didn't ask if you ask either, so shut up. Okay, but to make things more challenging, let's say it's a new profile, you have 10k and there is a catch. You can make money only the easiest way possible. <laughs> why is that even a rule? Well, you are lazy, that's why. But anyway, the easiest way, what does it even mean? Okay, I, ha I have no idea. So let's just do whatever is the closest, and bazaar it is. And you know it already, it's a place where you can buy a lot of different items, and you can even choose to buy one item, a whole stack, fill up your inventory, or even type a custom number. Just like that. And now if I would click the chest, the items would appear in my inventory. Oh. I didn't mean to <laughs> do that. Okay, so let me just get rid of this, and we're gonna start over. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so one more time, this is bazaar, and by opening it, we, we, we just made 1000 coins, uh, apparently. Wait, what? So, I guess that's it. And basically, you can magically spawn money by just opening bazaar and ruin the economy that way. I hope you enjoyed and see you. Okay, unfortunately, or rather, fortunately, it isn't true, and the real answer to what the hell just happened is back on the June 1st, 2021, or to be honest, even earlier, and I mean, much earlier. The 5th of May 2020, Skyblock patch 0.7.8, also known as Pet V2 update. It was pretty exciting update with a lot of cool stuff, but what's the most important for us is the 16 new pet status added into the game, or rather one pet in particular. Endermite. Yup, I bet you forgot about this pet because I'm pretty sure admins did too. But I don't blame you, it's over a pretty boring pet with only one ability that is kind of useful. Pearl Muncher. Upon picking up an Ender Pearl, consume it and at level 100 gain 10 coins, which was the NPC sell price at the time. So basically, instead of bothering warping to the hub and selling your pearls to the NPC, you could just equip that pet and don't worry about your inventory being cluttered all the time, which is convenient, but let's be real, not that big of a deal. Until BAM, the 1st of June. 2021, the Enderman Slayer update. New arena, new slayers, new OP equipment and other changes too and I don't care and oh, they changed NPC cell price, that's interesting. Okay, so it only makes sense that they also changed... Oh, they didn't. But doesn't that just mean nothing has changed? Well, for the most part, yes. But the game changer is fun fact that pearls actually don't have to be dropped by Enderman. They can be dropped by you or anything. And because the NPC sell price dropped, the puzzle sell price also dropped, causing that even by instantly buying pearls, you are making the profit that is almost 50% of the money you just spent. And by creating the buy offer, you are basically doubling your money. And now the only question is, how fast can you get rid of pearls from your inventory. And that's where a chest come into play. Well, there is nothing to explain, with chest you can basically get rid of the whole inventory at once, and then just break the chest. And you can also use multiple chests so you don't have to switch between chests and axe too often and save some time, probably. But one chest is fine. Oh, and also for the first collecting pearls from the bazaar, we're gonna use the oldest trick in the book. Create a buy offer, preferably multiple buy offers. Wait till it fills up. Flip the offer to whatever. Cancel offer and snatch pickup snatch. If done correctly, it should be looking something like this and makes about 3 mil per hour. And now just imagine how OP that would be if pearls would stack to 64. Like 12 mil per hour by getting rid of pearls from your inventory. Yep. Seems legit. But even just 3 mil, it's not like someone is buying it from me, spending theirs 3 mil and giving it to me. It's a 3 mil basically out of a thin air that is going straight to the economy. And you may think, well, yeah, but what about farming? Selling crops to the NPC also make a decent amount of money that is coming out of nowhere. To what I say, yeah, that, that's a fair point.
Only after you buy a builder's wand, build a giant set of farms, then farm for some medals in farming contest with basically no gear making, no money whatsoever, only to then spend all yours and your co-op's money to buy the equipment which then you need to level up, which going to take you enough time for you to reflect over your life, start questioning the purpose of all of that, decide to become a better person, quit skyblock, get a job, start a family and live happily ever after. Leaving your co-op with 50 million debt, which is quite the opposite of what you were supposed to do. And with this method all you need to do is to buy a decent level Endermite pet for like 700k, then make that money back in like 15 minutes and decide that it's boring as fuck, sell the Endermite for twice as much you got it for and move on with life. Without any commitment to anything, a risk of regretting your life decisions or accidentally leaving Skyblock to get some actual life. You see, perfect method. Okay, some of you may also think, but what about just buying from the bazaar and selling to the NPC? Well, yeah, but if you take for example snow, you actually need to buy about 100 mil worth of snow to make about 1 mil coins profit, and because there is a limit of 200 million coins you can sell to the NPC per day, you actually can make only 2 mil per day, which is nothing. And because you no longer can sell a whole inventory at once, it's more painful, so no. And the last contestant is minions. They can bring like, I don't know, 1 million coins to the economy in a whole day, which is pretty pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. I can bring the same amount of coins to the economy in like 20 minutes, so let's not even talk about this. Well, so I guess that's it, <laughs> the easiest way to make money. I don't think there is something easier than getting rid of items from your inventory for a 3 mil per hour, and simultaneously the best way to ruin skyblock economy... it's not. And despite everything I just said, it's not going to work, and I don't think I have to explain that. No YouTube video, only a few people knowing about the method equals working fine. A YouTube video exists, a lot of people knowing about the method equals immediately stop working, or is it? So you see, I could just keep the method to myself, and it's pretty good method, money-wise. But honestly, it's kinda boring, so I don't even care. And what I am more interested in is what is going to happen now. Because here's the thing, normally when there is a good money making method that involves a specific item, people would just buy it, causing the price to skyrocket. But this time, I don't think you can do anything. The only reason this is working is because the price is as it is right now. And buying pearls for more than this doesn't make any sense, because then you simply would be better with doing anything else. So in theory, the the price should stay the same, because no one will want to pay more than this, meaning that this method is never going to die, so uh, you want to use it, <laughs> but you can't, because the price is already on the edge of being barely profitable and not profitable, and you can buy pearls, causing you and everyone else make less money, making the method no longer good, so why would you do this when you could do anything else? And also you can do nothing, allowing everyone else to make a lot of money in such an easy way except for you. And by the way, how much even is profitable and no longer profitable. Okay, I'm probably being over dramatic. it's bold of me to assume everyone is going to use logic. Like, look at me for example, spending like 20 hours to edit this, whatever even is this and why? But anyway, the second thing I'm curious about is how fast they are going to patch this, because surely they just forgot and it's going to be patched, right? Like, almost all of my videos anyway? Or maybe they know about this and they are not going to patch this, which is fine, I guess. It's not that this matter too much anyway, and I wouldn't be surprised if they just didn't care, well, I wouldn't care either. But what I actually do care about is uh, you. 31.3 thousands of you more specifically, which is crazy to think about, so thank you so much for that and all the support. YouTube rank when, I don't know, they told me to wait, so I guess I'm waiting. And also thanks to my Patreons. By the way, you know you can cancel it anytime, just saying so you don't forget about this and end up spending too much money on me. Oh yeah, also Discord description, cool stuff, giveaways or something and yeah. But